to welcome everybody to Wegmans and here to tell us more about a little bit of a have a heart drive is Mayor McCormick. All right, thank you. And Tara forgot to introduce herself. This is Tara. And what's your title here at Wegmans? I am the service area manager. All right, and what about you two? What's your names and what's your title? My name's Elena. I work customer service. Elena, customer service. My name is Liv Parnell. I work on the front end. Okay, so we've got some of Wegmans finest here. We are here to thank them for their annual help in our Have a Heart food drive. And if you look behind me here, you will see a, the biggest collection of food that I've seen in a long time. And it's because, tell me how you can encourage current customers to shop and pick up something else and drop it off. Tell me. Yeah, um, this community really stepped up and we're so proud of everybody for really setting aside and their time and their money to help support this campaign. Um, we actually also have uh, eight more boxes. This bin got so full um, that we actually had to take product out of it um, so that uh, there was more room for people to put more stuff in there. So we're so how, like- How do they know to do it? How do you, do you announce it? Do you pass we, anything out? Um, we have our lovely banner here um, and then just word of mouth throughout the store. People were asking what it's for. Um, it, the community really got involved to better understand that we were supporting the local families. Well, Wegmans, since the beginning uh, of at least my involvement in the food drives, Wegmans has been an amazing contributor. It's, uh, it's very near and dear to our heart to support our community. Um, it's very important to um, not us locally, but also the Wegmans family. Um, it's very important that we do that. You're good. <laughs> It's the first time she said, I don't want to go on TV. You're I good. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me introduce you to uh, Peter Barcelona. He is a township employee who is the person in charge of getting the food from people who donate it, like you and your customers, to people who need it through the various food pantries. So Peter will explain a little bit. Go ahead, Peter. Thank you, Mayor, again, on behalf of, of We Feed Woodbridge. And we thank Wegmans, because Wegmans is one of our corporate sponsors. Wegmans. Uh, gives back every month to us uh, fresh produce um, other other non-perishables uh, non as well as perishable foods that we move to our food pantry so Wegman has been our corporate sponsor from the beginning as well as a $500 donation that we received last month from Wegmans um, so we feed as 11 food pantries we serve about 1300 families a month uh, here in Woodbridge so the need is great so what behind us here would be a tremendous asset to what we have at that point. So on behalf of the people we serve, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for well, you expand us. on that. I think that's very important because if you get food that approaches its shelf life and you know it's going to be bad yep. and thrown out, yep. you have maybe a day or so to get it to someone who can use it. Yep. Yeah, we partner with Wegmans, we partner with ShopRite, we partner with uh, Stop and Shop, uh, Wawa, uh, Seasons 52, Panera Bread. So, at, you know, the, the end of the night, type things that are left over that would generally be discarded we pick up the next morning uh green calls calls to us say we got we got produce to pick up the pantries come get the produce the pantries move to the pantry that same day at that point so wow. it's it's uh i think that's an amazing we effort. have we have a network between the supermarkets for, for that reason so and it, it takes an awful lot of manpower to, yeah. for you to identify it and segregate it and then for them to come pick it up and bring it to the pantries and then to get it to where it needs to go all within what 24, 24 hours 24 hours yep right. yeah that's Absolutely. remarkable yep. remarkable Absolutely. job yep.